She said, Becky's dead. Becky's dead. We don't know anything. I gotta go. I'll call you later, which is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. It wasn't just a murder. This was a cold-blooded execution. His victim is fleeing in terror. You could sense the fear that she must have felt. There is no logical explanation for why she would be found dead in her home. The neighbor approached the officers and said, I've got surveillance video. A couple hours after the body was found, that's when they came over and asked us questions. Obviously, it's a big deal to look at any possible surveillance cameras. It's kind of like finding a needle in a stack of needles. The night of the murder, you see the person riding the bike and then turn. Each video by itself is not super helpful, but when it becomes part of the video before or the video after is how these videos become that much more important. It tells the story of a round trip bicycle ride to a gruesome murder. It tells the story of somebody riding a bike late at night. It's always a puzzle, right? You start putting the pieces together, and this particular piece either fits or it doesn't fit. We start focusing our efforts in a different path. You must have known instinctively your guy was in trouble. Absolutely. Suspect, number one. What if they find him not guilty? 